Now, imagine you can device. It's very, very beautiful that you take it with but at the same time, it's very, very delicate that you can use a case. Now, that is the Vivo V29 5G for me. This device has been since 2nd of uh, February 2024. Vivo guys sent it over. This device has a 6.7 inch full HD AMOLED display. This is a 120Hz refresh rate device. And then <coughs> it comes with an under display fingerprint sensor, has the volume and the power button on one side that is the, on the right side. Internally, you get your Snapdragon 778G 5G processor. This processor is coupled up with 12 GB of RAM for my model, 12 GB of RAM and uh, 256 GB of storage. Also, you get up to 8 GB of RAM expansion feature. Uh, more specs on the camera, you get 50 megapixel main camera, you get your 8 megapixel ultra wide, and then you get your 2 megapixel monochrome sensor. And then on the front, you get your 50 megapixel main selfie camera. This device shoots up to 1080 60 frames per second and 4K. 30 frames per second on the rear side of the device and Kianda Palembele in a shoot up to 1080 60 frames per second videos. These are amazing video options you get from the Vivo V29 5G. Co battery, this device has a 4600 milliampere battery and then you get your uh, 80 watt fast charger out of the box. Remember heat device in a charge fully in less than one hour. First time to hold the Vivo V29 5G, my first thought was it's very, very light. It's a phone that speaks a lot to Atolem Siana Kucheki Meshikilia and the Himalayan blue color I have here. It makes the device look very, 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 very premium. Kuna the Vivo branding and then there's a, also a, a naming here that written Aura Light Portrait. I talk about that later on when I'm talking about the camera. But overall, the display is quite, 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 quite bright. Now, in my daily usage, sijakuwa na issue ya lighting and all sort of things. Nimekuwa nikiweza kutumia on a daily basis without any kind of uh, issues. Neza tumia mchana jua ikuwa directly uh, over the phone and nitona everything I want to see on the phone. I type everything. I'll be able to go through my social medias go through the messages I have and also the 120 hertz uh, rate, the 120 hertz refresh rate in as idea sana could make the phone very smooth. It's a very smooth phone. Actually, apart from the, uh, the Reno uh, 10 which I was using, this phone is quite, 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 quite smooth when you're scrolling. Now, um, keep it on up, then you're gonna support 120 hertz. I'm sure ultra regret to enjoy that display. It's a big display and it's, and the curved edges are they rounded too very well that I feel ni kama una hold something very huge. Ina make nini mkono yako ina make simu if it come corner very 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 well. It's a good, very good actually build quality from Vivo and yeah kudos to them for doing this. When you're going inside first of all I'm going to talk about the processor. This is the Snapdragon 778 5G processor. It's a 5G processor, yes, the device is 5G capable. And thanks to guys like Safaricom, Yatel for bringing out 5G to the Kenyan market. We're waiting for maybe fiber. I know they're testing their 5G network, so we'll talk about it, that later on another episode. Yeah, the processor is very powerful. It's actually, one of the, my favorite in this new trend segment. You may manage to game on this device for quite a while. Na bado si get ile like heating. Ajua device ingine ni kitumia. Sometimes unanga na kugame unengia code Call of Duty Mobile. And umefika level flani. Joto imekuwa too much in such a way that you feel uncomfortable holding the device. But the Vivo V29 ime ni surprise because I've been able to do games on a day-to-day -day basis, continuously for longer hours. Now, I don't heat at all. So, this is a very 
amazing processor that has been included on this device. Now to the cameras. The 50 megapixel main camera shoots quite amazing photographs. Okay, for these devices, Kunkina, Kuna, the, Reno, the Reno 10, which I've used for the longest time, maybe so far, I've also, I've also used some of the uh, older Oppo devices from the Oppo Reno 6 going on up to the Reno 10 now. And Kuna Kitumoja, his is in the, in the camera department, and that is the post photo computation. Kunaila computation will happen after we a photo. Now, these devices they tend to do too much of post editing for you uh, before you see the full result. Now, for instance, the Vivo, the Vivo V29, Unapata Umepiga picture, it takes some time to process the photo and then it appears, but the photo itself tends to have some over contrasting and over saturation in some areas not all aspects but in some areas you get uh, over saturation overall apart from the over saturation the phone takes amazing photos at its price range i can say it takes very good photos amazing photos usable photos i've posted some on my social media page you can check steve kemavi on instagram i've shared some photos taken on the Vivo V29. On the video segment, this device has 1080 up to 60 frames per second shooting and also 4K 30 frames per second. The 1080 up to the 1080 60 frames happens both on the rear camera and also on the front camera. Sijona complain about it from the video sector and the fact that it has OIS that is the optical image stabilization in a side sana when shooting videos on a day-to-day -day basis. You may manage to shoot at a nikitembe and unona camera shake akuna at a kidogo because of the OIS, which is good for Vivo for introducing and maybe being part of the first people to introduce in the Kenyan market, apart from the Reno 11 now, which has OIS also. And yeah, the Reno 10 didn't have OIS, so kudos to Vivo for introducing the optical image stabilization on their device. And in this idea, son, excuse me, I camera shake. I couldn't like you shoot reels on via your camera, your main camera. I couldn't put videos go smooth, go stable. I would say that yeah. So, so to me, I feel like I'm not going to be about the aura light OIS portrait camera written back here. If you look closely to the Vivo V29 camera bump, you would see that a white ring. Below the cameras, this in a traditional to noisy camera camera rings in Guinea. So, the ring is like a ring light, and you make a quiet device when shooting when shooting portrait photos or maybe general photos, and you want more light on your subject. You can apply like a camera to angia to the mode you want. Maybe it's the portrait mode, and then you want more light on your subject, so you go to ile se, kale tu ile place unonanga flash yiko, lafu unenda kwa aura light always on, so ita, ita waka. As you can see, it's like a ring light on itself. So, you just change according to the temperature you want, you can go to warmest, and then the coolest, you can get, so, you can get daylight na warm light, yes. You can choose the place you want to and then you just snap a photo. The photos tend to get more brighter, and unapata the the subject is more focused on than ile time makukuwa na light enough. So yeah, the aura light it's a it's a cool feature. Unajua using these the small features that companies add to their phones that really really matter. To many many people the battery life has been an, has been very 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 amazing as you can you want be on the galaxy a 15 video that i manage 25 hours but yeah so for me I'm, i've managed 24 hours on the vivo v29 that is charging once and using it for 24 hours uh it varies between unatumia simu kufanya nini if you use your phone likely you can gain even more hours because for me 
it's either I'm on Instagram, TikTok, uh, Twitter, I'm writing blogs sometimes on my phone and even taking photographs on a day to day basis. Na pia ni kwapo pia ku game part time. Na joke na leoambia stories are gaming, gaming part time nini 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 yes. I game part time. Um, maybe utani patapo Call of Duty, Asphalt Legends, those kind of games so the battery life has been amazing. Na na furai kwanza when you will introduce the 80 watt fast charging on the Vivo V29 5G cuz this charging has been very 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 fast siwezi complain like naweza mka asubuhi ndio wewe mimi nime plug in 17 minutes iko 50% within less than an hour niko 100% and i'm good for the day i just charge it again the next day in the morning so yeah finally this is a device that i can advise you to get first of all you get amazing battery you get amazing cameras you get amazing fast display you get an amazing processor coupled with good ram fast ram and also you get android 14 and that is just but some of the amazing things that this device can do now tell us in the comment section below what you want us to shoot for the next videos and pia tuambie Nini unataka to improve what do you, what else you want to see on our channel remember we also have our website where our reviews also are available and many 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 more of tech news tech events our podcasts which is actually coming coming very very soon yeah pale steve kemabi that is pale ig and you'll see some of the amazing content i'll shoot on this amazing device yeah until next time peace Ukumbuke ku share, ku subscribe, ku comment hapo chini. Yeah, tuna on the next video. Is and shout out to my guys Bibi yako pale kwa camera, Dream yako pale kwa BTS. And yeah, tuna next time. Peace out. Thank you.